Soyuz. This Soviet-era vehicle is arguably the most reliable spacecraft ever built. It first flew in 1967 and has undergone eight major upgrades over the past 40 years. The most recent version, Soyuz MS, is currently ferrying crews back and forth to the International Space Station. The Soyuz is comprised of three parts, the propulsion module, the descent module, and the orbital module. In total, it is 7.2 meters in length and 2.7 meters wide with a solar panel wingspan of 10.6 meters. This tiny spacecraft, whose name in Russian means Union, holds a maximum of three people, albeit uncomfortably. With a volume of 2.5 cubic meters in the descent module, it is a lot like riding a Yaris into orbit with all of your supplies, life support, and food. The crew has access to the orbital module, but it doesn't have much more livable volume, only about 5 cubic meters. A typical trip to the International Space Station can be anywhere between 6 hours and 2 days, depending on the orbital geometry at launch. Originally, Soyuz was designed for potential missions to the moon. But after the Soviet lunar program was cancelled, it was repurposed for their space station programs, Salyut and Mir. In total, only six flights of the spacecraft were ever done completely solo, the last occurring in September of 1975. Since then, every vehicle has gone to one space station or another. Over the years, various upgrades have given the vehicle an on-orbit life while docked to a space station of up to 210 days. During that time, it remains as a lifeboat for the crew should something go wrong. Landings in the spacecraft are rough. After the deorbit burn and separation of the three modules, tri-module separation, the descent module with the crew slams into the upper atmosphere. Pulling upward of four times the normal force of gravity, the spacecraft slows down to allow for parachutes to slow the craft even more. Then, about a meter off the ground, soft landing jets cushion the craft from impact on the ground. It has been described by those landing in the vehicle as going through a car crash. While the spacecraft is the most reliable in service, it has had its share of failure. The first flight, Soyuz 1, ended in disaster when the parachute didn't open during re-entry, killing its single crew member. Additionally, a depressurization event after tri-module separation led to the death of three crew members of the Soyuz 11 mission, the first mission to visit a space station. About a decade later, a failure of the Soyuz launcher carrying the spacecraft caused the first and so far only in-mission activation of a launch escape system in the history of crewed spacecraft. More recently, a couple of glitches in tri-module separation caused ballistic re-entries to occur, forcing the crew to briefly endure upward of 8 to 10 times the force of gravity. Despite these issues, the Soyuz has remained the safest, most flown human-rated spacecraft in history. It will continue to remain in service for the duration of the International Space Station program, currently slated to end around 2024. The Russian Space Agency is currently working on a replacement for the 40-year-old spacecraft, a more spacious vehicle that can hold up to six cosmonauts and astronauts, called Federatsia in Russian or Federation in English. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, head on over to our YouTube channel. Be sure to hit subscribe. Also visit our website where there's plenty more information about the International Space Station. Orbital Velocity is a crowdfunded project and a labor of love. If you'd like to help out, head on over to our Patreon page. There you can give a monthly contribution of any amount. Depending on the amount, you can actually have your name in the credits, among other things, as a spaceflight participant, flight engineer, or even a commander. Thanks for watching.